Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Paji. And we are back with the third and final Lord of the Rings reaction. We are watching The Return of the King Extended Edition. Alright, now I don't know how to describe how pumped I am for this. Not you. We. Yes, we. <laughs> Super pumped going into this movie. It has been an absolute wild adventure. It has been so much fun. It has been really enjoyable. A massive world. And oh no. I'm nervous going into this final installment because I don't want it to end. <laughs> and then just so much can happen. And I just don't know what we're in for. And there happens to be a whopping four plus hour long I know. Wow. expedition. So as usual, we'll, we'll be splitting this into two parts and watching it in two parts just so that uh, I don't... It's more manageable. Yeah, and that I don't die in this chair. But <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> super pumped. We were saying off camera that it's kind of sad. We just opened this chapter, but now it's closing. We're and used it, to series, I think, where yeah. we've got a lot more time with the characters. So even though, And because these movies were really big, you almost feel like you teased a big journey with them, but then it's finished so soon. Yeah. Yeah. Also, guys, make sure to let us know if you do want us to react to the Hobbit series. Let us know in the comments down below. We'll be reading them, seeing if there's enough demand for them. And if there is, then we will probably look into watching those too. I personally am interested in exploring those. I've, I know I've heard they're not maybe as hyped or as good as Lord of the Rings, but I still think there'll be value there. And I've heard a lot of people already say that they still think they're worth a watch. And I think it could be fun. I think if it means that we get to stay in this world a little longer, I'm down. I'm going to say first things first. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to see our boy Gollum again. Uh, yeah, I was going to start with that. <laughs> I am so excited to see him. Like, I love him so, so much. Like, I don't know. There's just something about him, isn't it? Like, I love him. But even when he is Gollum and not Smiggle, I don't hate him. I no. feel for him. Yeah, 100%. And I love... Oh, the acting is great, isn't it? Like, I just love the mix and the fight between both personalities and... There's, we think, a third personality. Yeah, it looked like there was a third. I think it's sort of a female yeah. archetype because they said she. And the way they spoke about her was like she was like the final card you play when you're back to a corner. Like mm. she's the bad one. So I think she's going to be the worst of them all. Like Gollum's probably like the middleman, it looks like. Unless we're literally like way off and it's an actual physical being mm. rather than... I feel like it was a third personality. That's right? what I think. But in saying that, Smeagol is my favourite by far. He's just adorable. Honestly, yeah. I love him. Like, we were doing our audio tests for the last movie, just checking in. And, you know, we went to a scene where he's like, oh, like, where are the little birds? He's precious. Uh, I'm hungry. Or what did he yeah. say? I can't remember how he says it, but the way he talks. He's like crispy birdsies or something like yeah, that. Yeah, crispy, crispy birdsies. And <laughs> it's the way he talks. He's just, I love it. Like, I could listen to Smiggle talk for ages. Oh, it's so funny. A whole movie of him just having a chat between himself, like, oh. would be epic. <laughs> oh, dude. So good. So good. But I'm also nervous coming into this because, I don't know, it didn't end off that well. Gollum has taken over and potentially this third personality and it looks like he's out to harm Sam and Frodo. So I don't want to hate him. I hope I still continue loving him. So. Well, the question is who is going to die in this movie? Because yeah. we have been told that the journey was always one that Frodo would not survive the task in the end. Yeah. And I feel like a sacrifice on his behalf is almost necessary. Just the, the, the relationship with the ring, the way it's all heading, yeah. the fact that it's consuming him. I feel like he's going to have to use it for something big this movie. It just makes sense. And then I don't know whether they're going to go the more happy ending trope and he survives or the sacrificial trope. And because they've done you know, with Boromir and other characters, I don't think it's beyond Lord of the Rings to kill him off at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I, I'm not used to this kind of storytelling, to be fair. It's a bit half-half, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm also anticipating that maybe Gandalf will leave in this one. Yeah, because I feel like he's come for a purpose. Once he's done with that purpose, it's almost like he has to let go and that's it. So I feel like this movie, we might have a few deaths. Who knows? 
Aragorn, I don't feel like he'll die because I feel like his purpose is to reclaim the throne. I mean, this is called the return of the king. Hint, hint. The king is back, baby. Do you think he'll use the ring? Because his bloodlines are the ones that would use the ring, but maybe he won't be corrupted by it. No, because his bloodline was corrupted by it. I think the whole point was that that's why he's been so scared as well. But if he's the one who can resist this corruption, who he has so far, he's not wanted the power. Maybe that's what makes him the one able to wield it. A little bit, not not wielded like indefinitely. Nah, but. the the ring. It's been told that the ring only has one master, and that is Sauron. Sauron, yeah. So, I don't think so. I think it's really about destroying this damn ring. Okay. Well, I am expecting a rematch one v one between Saruman and Gandalf. Yes. And now we've got Gandalf the White, baby. No more Gandalf the Grey. So I just feel like Saruman is going to get destroyed. The man's already been humiliated last movie. Yeah, last movie at the end, he was humiliated to the max. Yes, we had the army of the Ents just come in and... Flood everything. Flood, destroy. He did not see that coming. I didn't know how long it would take on such a big army, but that was like, just clean them all up. And props to Merry and Pippin too. Yep, and they got a nice little feast at the end, which yeah. I was very, very happy with. <laughs> and then we also had that epic... Epic battle at Helm's Deep, last movie as well. A lot of you have been saying that a lot of the Game of Thrones bigger battles were inspired by that, by the way that was done. It was one of the first of its kind at such a large scale. A lot of people were saying something like that in the comments. So I can see that. I can yeah. see how the Game of Thrones battles, some of the ones we love towards the end, like the Battle of the Bastards and Hard Homes, those epic ones. Like the rawness of it. Yeah, and just the, the, the large scale, everything happening at once. Yeah. So. It was a really cool battle. We saw progression from Grim Gimli, who was happy to be thrown now. Yeah, I was just about to mention that. I love Gimli, guys. I freaking <laughs> love him. He's another character I love. I think they've done... What they've done is they've made so many great characters. I mean, Legolas is great in his own way. Gimli. Yeah. I love their banter together. It's, love like, it. fantastic. You know what they've done? It's like Aragorn is, like, he's the big dog, right? He's, he's the one at the helm. He's the leader. And he's got that really just... Leonidas like character. He's the leader that will sacrifice everything for the cause. Then Legolas is that real loyal. He's, he's like the captain, you know, really loyal. And Gimli's almost like the other captain. They're both really loyal. They've got their little challenges. They banter. They're almost like Heckle and Jekyll, but but you love them in their own right. Yeah. And Gimli's almost like he's an, he's an adorable warrior, and he's funny, and he's got good banter and good humor, and he's got a bit of that. He almost reminds me of like that Irish spirit. Yeah. Like if I think of going to like an Irish bar at, at the pub and just. Cheering with the boys, I think of like someone like Gimli. Yeah. And then Legolas is just like that real loyal, honorable, like best friend that you want. Yeah. He's just very like to his heart, you know, he's just, you know, it's a genuine bond. He feels magical. I mean, he is an elf, but he just has that like innocence about him as well. But like you said, that loyal, like, will die by your side. And yeah, I love him. Yeah. And then you've got Gandalf, who's just like, as we said before, like the... He's like the father uncle, of the group. Yeah, uncle. like the Uncle Iroh of the group is what I was going to say. He's just got that wisdom, that presence, that just wraps it all together. Yeah. He's like the, the bow on the present. Yeah. And then you've got Mary and Pip, which are the <laughs> comic relief of the show. They're quite funny. <laughs> um, but it's just a, a nice crew. And then obviously Frodo and Sam, we've got about it. And then all hail Lord Golem. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Lord Smeagol. <laughs> all hail Lord Smiggle. Okay, that man is an absolute beast. <laughs> and uh, I just remember that now, but I remember Frodo saying something about wanting to help Smeagol. So do you think yeah. he could somehow like, I don't know, could he restore him to, him, to, his, to his like human self or could he just cure him of Golem maybe because he wanted to help him somehow? Look, it could go one of two ways. One, which was what I was saying last movie was that I think it's there to create friction between him and Sam and just, you know, put the trust in the fact that if I can save Gollum, then I can save myself because he knows he's going down that road. Or it can go the complete opposite way, which is if the ring is destroyed, that means all the powers with it is also destroyed, which means the corruption that Smeagol well, that's is what experiencing I was thinking, yeah. will be diminished. Lifted, but then again, yeah. I feel like Smeagol will die because he's so, so old as well. Yeah, so, true. The I don't know. Might catch up to him. So it could be either or, to be fair. Interesting. We're just going to have to wait and find out. Interesting. Yeah, wow. There's so, there's so much in it. I mean, I feel like I could sit here and talk about it oh, for yeah. so long. Yeah, yeah. So I am expecting in this movie 
that we will see the biggest battle yet. Probably. I'm feeling like we're going to have the second coming of, in the first movie, there was an intro of the original battle against Sauron, and it was big and all the races united. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's Aragorn's purpose in this one. I feel like it's going to be that big. Yeah, I think that's the point of it all. To almost come full circle. That's what I'm expecting. A lot of people have said so far they really love the Battle of Two Towers. I feel like this one's going to be bigger. I just feel like it's going to be bigger. All right, then. I don't know. <laughs> I know. That's just the hunch, but we'll see. I'm I'm very excited to see where we go. Well, I'm ready to see my 87-year-old mate. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The guy's old, yeah. <laughs> hey, he's in peak form. I hope I, I age like that. I hope you do, too. <laughs> <laughs> to everyone over on Patreon, thank you for supporting the channel. If you do want to join the Spider and the Pudgy family over there, while getting early access to upcoming reactions and early access to part two of this movie, or if you want to access the uncut reactions to all three of the Lord of the Rings movies, we'll leave a link in our description. If you're watching this over on YouTube and you enjoyed today's reaction, guys, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel because we are planning to do more movies and you can follow us through many more journeys to come. And let us know in the comments down below, one, what you thought of this trilogy, what you thought of this movie, what were your favorite moments, favorite parts, Favorite characters, I want to know it all. Do you love Gollum as much as we do? Yeah, and did you love him as much as we did in the first go? And the second one is, let us know about The Hobbit. Because, as we said, I want to watch it. And if we know there's a community response for it, then we'll look into it. All right, should we go? Oh, I'm nervous, but it's time to rip off the band-aid, guys. Let's go. Is that meant to be Gollum? Golem, you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Or Young Smeagol. It is! <laughs> the idiot. He's getting dragged by the fish. <laughs> The ring. No, his friend found it and screwed Smiggle over. Oh my god. Why is the thing always in lakes? Deagle? Isn't it Deagle? Yeah. Oh my god. Smiggle just... and Deagle. <laughs> Maybe they're brothers then. Oh shit, what the hell? It's Already! Crop this straight away. Oh, Tell me he kills him. Oh no, man. Shit, dude, it's so eerie. Oh shit. So they're both hobbits, yeah? I don't know, they look like elves with the ears. But nah, they've got Hobbit the Hobbit feet. feet. Yeah, the Hobbits. <laughs> oh my god, man. That damn ring from friends on the boat fishing to this. Oh, damn, damn ring. Precious. Damn. You got corrupted so quickly, though. Holy shit. I know, that was really fast. Oh, you just feel his pain. Talk about a fourth of grace. Oh. Ew. Ew. Is that why he loves fish so much, maybe? Because that was the last memory he had of, like, being happy. Probably, but that was ugh. Yeah, those teeth are no good. <laughs> I still love the way he says that. Though. I know. Oh, <laughs> speaking of Smeagol, there we go. Shit, a bit yeah, of wow. Backstory. Interesting. But he always spoke like that, in plural, in a way. Mm. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up, sleepies. This version of Smeagol, to be honest. Wake up, sleepies. <laughs> That's how I'm going to wake you up from now on. <laughs> then I'll look like Olin. Stupid fat hobbit. <laughs> Here. What about 
about you. Oh no, I'm not hungry. Wow, he's really looking out for him. Yeah, he's such a good friend, man. There should be enough. Sam, don't die on us because of hunger. For what? The journey home. Oh man. It better be a journey home. Don't make me like this in the, at the start of the movie. <laughs> Ooh, give it together, Budgie. We haven't even started yet. I love the R's in this. They've got Mordor, Gondor. We know you love the... What is it? They, like they got like Mordor. <laughs> I think you said it like every movie at this point. Young, he reckons. I know. Shit. Well, he's definitely younger than him. But there is a wizard to manage here. Locked in his tower. Oh, oh shit, he's still him. here. All locked himself. Can we not take counsel together as we once did, my old friend? Can we not have peace? Peace was done a long time ago. We shall have peace when you answer for the burning of the West Foe. Oh shit, dude, he's having none of it. When the lives of the soldiers, whose bodies were hewn even as they lay dead against the gates of the Hornburg, are avenged! Oh, yeah. dude, what a beast! What a J-Arp. What do you want, Gandalf Grey, eh? No, no, not Grey. You cannot think that this ranger will ever sit upon the throne of Gondor. This exile. He has not given up hope. I haven't. Come down, Saruman. Save your pity and your mercy. I have no use for it. Oh, shit, dude. Don't worry. He oh, can't touch Gandalf. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that is You heavy. shall not pass. <laughs> your staff is broken. Oh, dude. Get us another level. Oh, there's the sneaky snake. You were once a man of Rohan. Come down. A man of Rohan. Oh my god, tell me he's gonna stab him in the back. He's still trying to save him after everything he did. Wow. Get down. Oh my god. Oh, I oh, knew it. Oh. Look at it. You withdraw your guard. But they need Saruman alive. There's no way, like that? And like that, they're both dead. No way. Holy shit. Oh, you guys wanted him to come down. He's coming down. Oh! Oh, oh shit. Oh. Okay, I guess no 1v1 with him and Gandalf. Oh no! I'm not expecting that gonna... from the gecko. Oh, the ball! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. But if Gandalf uses the ball, he might get corrupted. I'll take that, my lad. Quickly now. Yeah, wrap it up. Safekeeping. Yeah, shit. I'm still impressed by how strong Gandalf was, though. That was a weird look between Gandalf and... Gandalf's Kevin. always had it out for talk. I don't know why. He's always yeah. been a bit, like, shitty with him. Billy Butcher on his right-hand side. <laughs> Love to see it. I think it's his left, but yeah. <laughs> no spirits. And no regurgitation. <laughs> oh, I love it. Give me the last competition, dude. Legolas about to let loose. I'm guessing elves don't drink a lot, if at all. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the neck deep. Oh my god, Legolas is like a beast. Look at him go. Oh shit, dude. I feel something. Finally. A slight tingle in my fingers. Dude, this man has tolerance of the gods. Why is that me and you're Gimli? Can't handle his liquor. Can handle his liquor. <laughs> <laughs> now 
And that would be you. Dancing away on the table. Look how little they look. They're almost as tall as everyone on the table. Again. Is that look again? Okay, it does mean something. Yeah, I thought it was something deeper. Yeah, it Maybe is. Maybe he saw something in the ball. I don't know. Smeagol hates nasty horses. No, you don't. He doesn't look like he's convinced. Smeagol did it once. He can do it again. No. Don't remind him of that. Is that when Golem was formed? Maybe Golem killed him, not Smeagol. No, he said Smeagol did it. First, we must lead them to her. Okay. All right, so maybe her isn't them. It's a, something else. And when they go in, there's no coming out. All right, so we can't go into that tunnel. We're going into the tunnel. She must eat, or she gets as filthy oxes. And that doesn't taste very nice, does it, precious? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, the way he said that was like so innocent. <laughs> I knew Sam would be awake. Then we will find it and take it for me. Oh, he said me instead of us. Once the hobbit sings her dead. Oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, shit. Sam's having none of it. Oh, he's bleeding. <laughs> he's a horror. No, Frodo might not believe him. You don't see it, do you? He's a villain. We can't do this by ourselves, Sam. Not without a guide. Oh my god, I hope they don't wait till it's too late. Oh man. I don't know if Frodo is being naive or I don't know. Oh, that nasty look. I wonder if him saying me instead of we is a sign that he's still wrestling. He's not as con like content in what they're doing. Oh, okay. So is that, you know, keeping Pippin up? Mm, by Come. touching it, did it corrupt him a little bit or something? Mm, and he looked into it for a while. <laughs> Shit. That is scary. That is There's so, no so way. scary. Pippin. Are you mad? I just want to look at it. Just one more time. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Now he's using it. Oh, I can't to call you a fool of a talk. I wouldn't be whispering now. Oh, no. Oh no, he showed Sauron where they are. Help. I was gonna say, surely they've all woken up by now. Oh my god, Ganos gonna destroy him. Oh shit. Oh my god. Fool of a, <laughs> of a damn talk. That's an iconic line. Oh shit. What did you see? He probably saw where the battle's gonna happen. Is that the city of Gondor, maybe? What did you tell him about Frodo and the ring? Hopefully nothing. Oh no. How do we not get that answered? He told Sauron nothing of Frodo and the ring. Perfect. He knows the heir of Elendil has come forth. Men are not as weak as he supposed. Oh shit. If the beacons of Gondor are lit, Rohan must be ready for war. Why should we ride to the aid of those who did not come to ours? Oh, we can't play that game, mate. Dude, of all the times. I ride for Minas Tirith. And I won't be going alone. Oh, you, you get no took? choice. I think he's bringing Took. Hurry, hurry! <laughs> he loves cracking it at them. I won't do it again. Don't you understand? The enemy thinks you have the ring. Oh no! Oh, 
Come on. Oh, this friction is because of so much love. Fear of losing each other. But we'll see each other soon. I don't know. Well, that's so that's sad. Very. Oh, shit. It's the first time they've been separated. I would get him into the worst sort of thing. <laughs> But I was always there to get him out. This is the first time he can't help him. One thing I've learned about hobbits. They are most hardy folk. Foolhardy, maybe. He's a took. <laughs> <laughs> that that was the whole, took. whole of the meaning now. Minas Tirith. City of Kings. Oh, so he's Gondor. Yeah, I was right before. So I'm assuming Gondor's like the area maybe in the Minas Tirith is like the town? Or the tree. I thought it was the tree. But not sure. Damn, dude, it's a big uh, kingdom. It's beautiful as well. Holy shit, dude. That's insane. And there's the infamous tree. Lord Denethor has borrowed his father. To give him news yeah. of his beloved son's death would be most unwise. Do not mention further. Oh, talk. Please don't screw this up. Yeah, just don't talk at all. For that matter. In fact, it's better if you don't speak at all about Gondor. <laughs> <laughs> Given past history, yeah, I think that's fair call. Yeah. Perhaps you come to tell me why my son is dead. Oh shit, he knows. <sighs> oh, I miss him. And now Tulk's gonna speak. Boromir died to save us. My kinsman and me. He died an honorable death. The mightiest man may be slain by one arrow. And Boromir was pierced by Mary. Yeah, far Put respect out. on his name, man. I think truth was needed in this scenario. You think you are wise, Mithrandir. Yet for all your subtleties, you have not wisdom. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's got a bit of a stake. I don't like him. Oh shit! Okay, so he actually knows what's going on. Authority has not given to you to deny the return of the king. Oh, oh the return oh, of the king! I mean, this guy has always wanted power. That's what yeah. he wanted from both his sons. So I didn't see him as an honorable guy in this scenario at all. Mordor. Yes, there it lies. Look at the contrast: the white and then the black luminous. Very impressive. So where are we off to next? Oh, it's too late for that, Peregrine. There's no leaving this city. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. I can't go anywhere. Oh, my God. Imagine just sitting there like, sitting ducks. Oh, my God. I don't want to be in a battle. But waiting on the edge of one I can't escape is even worse. Yeah, I know. The anticipation. The angst. There never was much hope. Oh, oh. We're relating to Hook now. Deep down, we're all fools. But we have the white wizard. Mm hmm. For something. Yes, it does. Fool's hope. hope. Gandalf, come on. Fool's hope. Sauron has yet to reveal his deadliest servant, the one who will lead Mordor's armies in war. Oh, no. The Witch King of Angmar. Oh, is that what Gandalf's here for? Oh, wow. The dead city. I mean, dead city looks pretty sick, though. Quick! They will see! They will see! <laughs> so excited. Look! We have found it! The way into Mordor. All those stairs. Damn, I don't want to be climbing that. Tell me he's drawn to the door. Yeah, what the hell? Looks like it's pulling him in. Golem doesn't even want him to go that way. If Golem's saying no, you know it means no. 
Oh shit. What the hell, dude? Did that just give it the power? Oh no. Or is it just timing? Holy shit, dude. Oh shit. Yeah, I felt like that was like, oh my god. Oh my god, man, what is that scream to? Yeah. My ears. Yeah. I knew that was irritating him before. I knew it. I don't think he knows Frodo's here, though. They're leading the armies. I thought it was all just timing. Like, this is the army that's coming. Keep your head down. Oh, my God. I know. Imagine being that close. You do not want to be spotted. Where, where's uh, Daenerys at? Need a 1v1, this man. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Drogon, get on it. You would not want to fall here, and somehow you'd fall. Always. Up the stairs we go, and then it's into the tunnel. Oh, Sam knows what that means. If anything happens to him, you'll have me to answer to. <laughs> it's not right. One air stands up on the back of my head. It's over. Oh, yes. Oh, shit, Sam. Sammy boy. I just love how fiercely he's protecting Frodo. I love that friendship. Nothing. Just clearing something up. Damn, man. I don't like. I don't like Spiegel, Golem, whatever. Being like the villain. I like the minions on this side. Oh. Quiet. I think your presence is known. The way the battle starts this early, we're not even halfway yet. Oh my god! They're like hiding in the mist. Surely someone spot them. Like honestly. To the river, quick. Oh, even they're trying to be quiet, so they don't let, let them, okay. Yeah. It's a battle of the quiets. They're about to get ambushed. They're just letting them go through? So, I ambushed them, spit them off. Faramir, you better stay alive. You have to live on. What a weapon, though. Just charge in there. Come on. Oh, what a beast, honestly. <laughs> mm, he's gonna light them. Good plan, good plan. Okay, don't act like nothing's about to happen. <laughs> Yeah, maybe uh, step down, son. It's gonna take the rope. Take the rope. <laughs> oh, he's so proud of him. No loves took. Ah. Yeah, light the main one, then everyone does their job. Oh, so good. Wow. Holy shit, dude, they're above the clouds. It's insane. These views wow. are next level. They're probably in real places. Wow. So what are all the light towers? I know it's part of the prophecy, but what are they all symbolizing? Um, it's to kind of rally everyone together. Okay. It's kind of like a symbol of we need help. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yes, yeah, so everyone's accepting the call. Perfect. Oh, let's go, boys. For eight. Now they have to respond. Come on. And Rohan will answer. <laughs> yes, they will. Muster the Rohirrim. I mean, if Sa Sauron is mustering up all his forces, we need everyone that we can get. So they're fighting and reinforcing this like three days away. We can't hold them. The city is lost. No, it's not. Tell them to break cover. We ride the minister to them. All avenues point to Minas today. The Nazgul here. Oh shit. 
Oh my god, no. Oh my god. Oh, this guy got screwed, man. Oh. That's horrendous. Alone and oh. Age of men is over. The time of the orc has come. Dude, it's his like, face is thrashed. It's like a mangled pig. Yeah, what the hell? Damn. Oh, oh no way. Gandalf the White. white. Oh. oh my god, he's meeting them halfway. Oh, holy shit. Is he gonna pull out you shall not pass? I'd love that. Come on, Faramir, let's go. Oh, they don't like oh. the light, remember? I can love him, dude. I love him so much. Oh, and the music just makes me like tear up instantly. I knew his new power would be light rather than darkness. But the way he just charged in there, like leading the way for the light. No like, fear, no fear. Sick. You sent the ring of power into Mordor in the hands of a witless halfling. Borrow me a foot for the same thing. So step in line, my friend. Boromir would have remembered his father's need. Oh my god. Boromir would not have brought the ring. Yeah, exactly. Tell him, tell him. Boromir was loyal yeah. to me! Not some wizard pupil! Oh my god, oh, this dude, guy. Dude, this man's in dire straits. He's lost the plot. Oh, Boromir, man, he's tried so hard to be loyal. That's right, he's got a bigger purpose now. Leave your father behind. Oh. Uh. Careful, master. Careful. Very far to fall. Very far to fall. Come, master. Uh. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, he's not going to help him. No, Smeagol will help him. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Speak of nerves. Help Sam up. Poor Sam's just struggling. The way Smeagol just to play him is so funny. No, Sam won't. You will. The fat one will take it from you. Surely oh, you don't believe no, that. No, dude. Sh so surely. their friendship contrasts Smeagol's friendship, and it's like, what path will it take? Frodo, you better not believe that. Smeagol's very sus. Oh my god, they're so close to the edge as well. I would not be sleeping there. Yeah. What the hell? One wrong turn. I <laughs> know. <gasps> oh. So they can't make it back. Oh no. Oh no. It looks like Sam's been eating it behind his back. Oh shit. Oh Smeagol. Oh dude that's dirty. I'm sorry to wake you Mr. Frogel. We have to be moving on. Frodo looks in bad spots. Like, he looks horrendous. His eyes, everything. Yeah, he's not doing so well. It's gone. The elven bread. What? That's all we have left. Oh my god, he's played that really well. Brussels. Oh my god. <laughs> Crumbs on his turtles. His whole turtles. Oh my oh, god. No. Oh shit! Going for it. This place, that thing around your neck. Oh no! Here we go. Oh no! I could carry it for a while. Carry it for a while. I could carry. He's just trying to be nice. Oh no! Paranoia kicks in. Oh, dude, how are you going to do Sam like that, man? But he's a liar. He's poisoned you against me. 
Frodo, how can you not see this? Oh, dude, you sold that on the world's best friend. You are a fool. What is it about Sam's being good friends, both in Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings? Oh, no. And liking a little bit of food on the side. He would do anything for Frodo and... Smeagol, you're on my shit list at the moment. I feel his pain. You go out of your way to help people and they just step on you, huh? Your father's will has turned to madness. Do not throw away your life so rash. Please listen to Gandalf. Come on, Faramir, man. Your father loves you, Faramir. You will remember it before the end. Oh. Yeah, you better freaking remember it. Even then, he's unworthy. The father, that is. This is all ripping me. I feel so bad for Faramir, man. You really feel his pain and despair. Like, just wanting the love from his father so badly. And look what he's doing to get it. Look at this. What a battalion. Oh, shit. And you know what's worse? He even knows that this isn't going to help. Look at that. Oh, man. Spartans, if I ever saw him. Oh my god, his voice. Yeah, I can sing. I hope this means he's not gonna die because that's like a perfect death song. Oh man, I'm not liking this. Cloud and shade. Oh my god, please, no. Please, please, please. No. Shit, dude. Tell me that's how they died. I hope not, man. Could Is it be her? Hard? I take my leave. Surely. Has to be. Oh, dude, they played us big time. Damn. He's bringing in the sword. So then why doesn't Elrond's strength wane? That's what I get. Because he's not mortal. Yeah, okay. True. You need more men. There are none. There are those who dwell in the mountain. Mm, the dangerous mountain. The evil mountain. The answer to no one. Mm. They will answer to the king of Gondor. Oh, damn. damn. Yeah, baby! Deliver that sword. <laughs> and he was against him being the king of Gondor, remember? Called him a traitor at the start. Put aside the ranger. Become who you are born to be. The king! Return of the king, come on. This time you must stay, Gimli. Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha the boys are staying. You like nothing of the stubbornness of dwarves. <laughs> I love these three, man. I know. What a trio. <laughs> Long ago, the men of the mountain swore an oath to the last king of Gondor to come to his aid. All right. The new king of Gondor is coming. When Gondor's need was dire, they fled, oh. vanishing into the darkness. I wonder if they sensed his lack of resolve in the previous king or his ability to be broken. Yeah. I do not fear death. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Oh, oh shit! Now that's the boss, man. Straight in there, straight in there. <laughs> oh my god! Like Kratos said, "Death can have me when it earns me." Oh man, I feel like we are jing up a big battle to come. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, give me. Six, stay away, stay away. Man's not having it at all. The guy's gonna faint. <laughs> Do not look down. Gimli's gonna look down. Oh, Gimli. <laughs> oh, man. He, he kills me. The dead. 
but suffer the living to pass. You will suffer me. Oh, oh let's go. <laughs> I love it. The confidence. None but the king of Gondor may come out. He is the king of so Gondor. He has to claim himself. Oh shit. I am Isildur's heir. Yeah, you are. Fight for me. So he's finally started to claim his, his destiny. Fight, and I will release you from this living death. Oh shit, dude, they're not responding. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. How many freaking dead? But does that mean they'll fight? They've like opened the door? I don't know. I don't feel like that's the answer yet. Yeah. The army's coming, baby. We fight. Yeah, you do. Let's go. <laughs> we are back. We're back, baby. Yeah, okay. So I had a feeling maybe the castle was falling like it served its purpose now. Yeah. Oh, no, man. Stupid father. Useless, stupid father. Unworthy swine. I'm hoping he's still alive. Just sent an army to their dead for his own, to their death. For his own stupid pride. But it was like vengeance as well. Faramir. It seemed not that he has fallen. Seriously, now now you're concerned. Fear. The city is rank with it. <laughs> you're just rank, full stop. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> is that their heads? No way. Oh, oh my that God, is dude. brutal. He's alive. The house of stewards has failed. Because of you, you stupid fool. Oh my that? God, dude. You sent your son into that, you stupid old fool. He doesn't even want to face it. Holy shit. Verdans betrayed me. This man picks now to be spiteful towards everyone. He's like paranoid to the max. Abandon your post! What kind of command is that? Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Go Gandalf, is that up for this fool? The complete opposite. Yeah, it can't talk like that of me, you old shit. <laughs> Stupid old kook. Man's lost his mind. I know. Oh, dude, Gandalf. Send these foul beasts into the abyss. Yeah, <laughs> send them, baby. What a weapon of a man. Oh, shit. Don't worry, they've got a fight in them. Nice, good hit. Shit, it's, it's blow for blow, they're just trading at this point. Yeah, stay where you are. That's right. Don't move. Oh, Coward. damn. Coward. Should have crushed this fool. He literally told them to stay where they are, and he's the one that moved. All nine riders, I think, are here. Oh, shit. Oh, horrible, horrible sound. Damn. Oh. Don't give in to fear. Gandalf is the leader they need to do. He's leading Gondor right now. Trample on him. Aim for the trolls. Kill the trolls. 
Bring him yeah. down. Who general is? Gandalf's ma managing everything. Oh, is he still being mesmerized by the... No, I think he just wants to fight. <gasps> oh! oh! This is no place for a hobbit! <laughs> oh, Gandalf. Absolute beast! Oh, look at him go! Holy shit, dude! How can you not want to fight for this? Oh! Yeah, he's he back. Got him. Guard of the Citadel, indeed. Now back up the hill, quickly. Quickly. <laughs> he did Legend. his part. <laughs> what are you doing, you useless scum? The door won't give. It's too strong. All right, they're holding down the fort for a little while. Not bad. Get back there and smash it down. But nothing can reach us. You go do it, you fool. You may go no further. You will not enter Gondor. You shall not. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be bored if he goes. Oh, Gimli. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh shit. Aragorn at the start was so afraid, just he did not want to fulfill his destiny. And you saw how much, you know, he was trying to stay away from it. He had no faith in himself. And, you know, he's really grown into himself. I mean, it helps that so many people believe in him, but I also think that because this was the last call, like they needed his help. He had no other cards left to play. He had to take up his duty and he's willing to do it for the sake of everyone. And I just love the confidence he's grown into. He really takes the title of king and- Well, he's really returning as a king. Yeah. And he has the faith that he will not buckle, he will not falter, and he will not give in to the temptations that his predecessors did. Yeah, so he has the courage and he's got some epic one liners as well. Yeah. But no, we've really seen a lot of progression from Aragorn this movie. Particularly, yeah. you know, I feel like he's really Aragorn now and no longer Strider. He's letting the Ranger go and he's starting to reclaim his destiny for the first time. Mm. It's been very subtle, it's happening slowly, mm -hmm. but he's starting to see that if he's gonna give mankind a chance this is the only way even when he said that line about like give all your hope to the people or something and and leave none for, none me, for yeah. yourself like i mean any hope that you give anything you can offer give to the people yeah so the lines as always have been brilliant i mean there's so many lines there's that you honestly could... so many in this movie but in particular it's a lot of yeah a lot of words of gold a lot of philosophical wisdom just it's it's been awesome it's great to listen to i, I want to sip go back and dissect some of them properly yeah but that's been awesome i'm also loving mary and pippin's journey as well like they're growing out of the fools or the jokes of the group yeah even though they started that last movie i really feel like this movie we're getting some big character arcs for them you know they're yeah. really even separating them so that they mm. both have to grow in their own light you can't just see them as just, you know, two halfmen kind of thing. Yeah, halflings. It's really grown them a lot. Yeah. No, it's so far, I just feel like overall, only having watched the first half, I feel like it has tied up so many loose ends. You know, we've got Arwen's coming back. I mean, you know, we've got Rohan's joining the war. There are just so many little things. There are more that I can't remember off the top of my head, but every little bit that's been hinted throughout the movies is coming full circle. Even yeah. something small, like the fact that Gandalf specifically always had to, had it out for Took, yeah. always took it out on him. It was always, and I always wondered, you know, okay, they're having this joke, but if these two in particular, is there a reason for that? And then this movie, they are evolving that into a stronger friendship, you know, and Gandalf even level with him saying, yeah, I too have been a fool because this is a fool's hope. That's what yeah. I, I started all this on a fool's hope. I love that. Oh, so it's really nice. They've just made so much value at everything. And, True to Lord of the Rings, when you least expect things to happen, Saruman 
dead in the beginning. Like I did not. I thought it was going to be the you know till the very end. But and not. the way he died was brutal. Like yeah. completely. I think it sort of symbolised Gandalf taking over now. Mm. At first, I thought when that bull dropped, I thought, is that going to somehow bring him back to life? Like, I don't know. It was weird, but no, it had a different purpose. And this movie, I I, I don't know if it's because I'm more connected to all the characters and I'm connected to the world now, but I'm really feeling such emotion. I'm feeling everyone's regret, despair, hope. Like, I'm just feeling so much. And it's making me emotional. Like... When Sam and Frodo, their friendship is, like, now fractured. Oh, like, I just feel for Sam in that moment. I, I feel for Frodo, too, but in a different way. But Sam, I'm just like, damn, like, he's giving everything. And surely Frodo knows that Smeagol is playing him. He knows the corruptive power. He's feeling the corruptive power. Yeah. That's probably why he's also giving into that as well. He knows that that's his end. Or I don't know if he's just knows that because he said it, I, I'm not coming back home. So maybe he doesn't want the same fate for Sam. So that's why he's like separating their paths. I'm yeah. Not sure. No, it isn't. And I think you're right. I think we've just grown with these characters a lot and they're starting to feel more familiar. So their emotional journeys and their challenges, it hits home a lot more. Yeah. Like you feel it. Likewise, Gollum's been an interesting one because I loved him in the second movie. Yeah. I still do love his way of talking, but he's just very, yeah, he's very conniving. He's being very manipulative this movie, and I hope that his story arc ends for the better, but yeah. it was very sad what happened with Sam. I don't feel like Sam will give up on Frodo because he's just that kind of friend. Yeah, I feel like he's at his wit's end, but I hope that he does a Gollum and, you know, sneaks behind them and I don't know. Gandalf, as always, incredible. The man just... <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, dude, next to Aragorn, he has to have some of the best lines and best moments. I would argue he almost has had better moments so far. Mm-hmm. I feel like Aragorn might have a better one in the second mo- second part. But like yeah, Gandalf, fun. oh, man, he just... The way he charges in, the way he charged all those orcs with his staff with the light and the way he came in and defended Tulk, I mean, he's just a beast. He, he And the way he's just taken command of the entire army of Gondor... And he's just managing everything. Like, the man is a general in his own right. I know. It was funny when he, like, was not going to stew it out. Like, it's just like... I wonder if there are more wizards. Like, there must be more than just him and Saruman. Obviously, we haven't seen any in these movies. But I wonder if in the books, there must be, like, a a faction of them, is what I sort of understood. I would think so. But, yeah, really not sure. And Baramir is alive. Let's not forget. So, I, I love that. Feeling. I didn't think he'd die just like that. It seemed too subtle. Yeah, he couldn't. He but couldn't. his father's lost the plot. Like, that man. Oof. It's just so confusing. Like, I understand him. But in the moment when you're watching it, you're like, dude, you literally sent him to his death and now you're surprised that he's dead. Like, dead. But what do you mean? He's just, he's just broken. He thinks he knows what he wants. He doesn't. I don't know. He's Yeah, he's just a lost man at this point. <laughs> so Arwen is officially becoming mortal. Yeah. And she seemingly... Well, it looks like she's going to have a child with Aragorn, but it almost felt like she's not going to be there to see it. I wonder if her becoming mortal is a death of source or if she's actually going to die. I don't know. Because I almost feel like the way they've got two love interests, I almost feel like she has to sacrifice herself. And then Aragorn will have the human love, but raise Arwen's child. I don't know. It's a bit messy, but otherwise it feels weird that they, to, to create two love interests and not do anything with them. Well, Aragorn just said that he can't give Arwen what she seeks. So I don't know if they've closed... You're talking about the blonde haired one? Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think you got confused before because I didn't mention a name, oh, but I, I think you, you thought... Anyway, yeah. And then I was like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I was just saying Arwen picked Pippin up. Yeah. No. Mary, Mary up. Yeah, that was cool. But so back to the love story. Yeah, Aragorn said that he can't fulfill what she needs. But then Elrond said that his daughter was dying. But is that because ne- she's now mortal, or is so. she actually now physically dying? Like no, no, she- he said both. More because he said as the darkness grows, she's dying. Yeah. But that's why. That's why I asked you. The answer you gave me didn't make sense. I said why. 
is she in particular dying and not Elrond? Like, it was like the elves, she must be linked to some. Oh, no, you no, said it because I she became more mortal. Yeah, yeah but she, she became mortal. Something to do yeah. with her giving up her elvish powers mm-hmm. means she's susceptible to this darkness. Like, it's, yeah. it's killing her almost like spiritually or something. Well, it was interesting. In that dream or vision that she had, there was a son. Is it her son? It must be. I, I don't know. So. I think so, but... But then she, it's like she wasn't there alive to see him or be with him. Yeah, I wonder if that was like a fork in the road kind of choice. Like if she didn't claim her fate, she wouldn't be there. But then how could she have a son and she never came back? So it's interesting. Yeah. I mean, there's a few things now that have been left open to interpretation at this point anyway. So I'm really eager to get into part two, the second half of the movie. I mean, it's... Get some answers. Yeah, finally get some answers. I feel like the battle of battles is coming. Some big things to happen. Who's going to live? Who's going to die? Uh, I don't know. I guess we just got to find out. I know. If I was already like sooking in the first half of the movie, I can't wait to see what I'm going to be like in the second. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed part one of this reaction. If you did, remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel so you know as soon as we drop part two and any future movies or series we cover. And let us know in the comments down below what you thought of everything happening so far. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys on part two of this reaction. See you guys.